do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Seth Julian, and welcome you to today's presentation on the Gulf Tadawul Network, where we're going to discuss Telecom Italia. This is one of the largest uh, telecom communications firms in Italy, and they specialize in that, in that uh, service of the last mile. In other words, these are the people who connect actual houses and offices to the broadband network. And this is a particularly valuable asset in every location because these are the actual wires that go into the house or into the office building that connect the modem to the uh, network. And so it's very valuable. You know, it's 4G, 5G, whatever the G is, these guys that have to be, they have, their, their uh, services and infrastructure have to be utilized in order to take advantage of whatever network we're talking about. So, Telecom Italia looks as we can see here in the last uh, uh, what what is it about uh, seven days has really gone up but uh, this is this is on top of a very very here, let's take a look at a larger picture of a very sad picture for this corporation look at this this is no picnic this company has been losing money since uh, 2015 and continues to do so and therefore is the subject of a takeover bid by an outfit called KKR, Colbert, Kravitz, and Roberts. These guys are the biggest, pri one of the biggest private equity operators on earth, and they specialize in kicking out crummy management where they see that it's weak and they see that there's value that is unexploited. These guys are often termed the vultures or the barracudas of the capitalist world, but um, in essence, these are the guys that that pick up the scraps and make them healthy again. So they provide a very valuable service in the world of capitalism. And where they see value that's being unexploited by fat, lazy, happy management, they move in like sharks. So what we have here represents a bid by KKR to take these guys private. In other words, the idea would be we'll buy up the shares and we'll kick out the crummy management, put in some quality management, raise the value of the firm and maybe sell it at a later time or at least uh, uh, reap the profits in the meantime. The problem with this deal is, well, let me just give you a little more background before I tell you what the problem with the deal is. Uh, their Q3 revenue and profits were down year on year that they released last week. And last week also uh, S&P, the bond rating outfit, lowered their debt uh, rating to, to even lower than it was. Um, their profit, this, this, you know, since June, here, since about here, the this price of the stock has fallen by 25%. This is a major telecoms corporation. This isn't some dot com or some, you know, um, fintech uh, fly by night outfit. These guys have been around for a long time. You can see that the, the top just recently has driven volume up tremendously. But the point, the, the, the only, uh, uh, what do they say, uh, fly in the ointment, I believe is the uh, expression, is that, um, well, KKR owns 37.5% of the network. Vivendi owns actually more. I don't know exactly how much, but they, they're the largest shareholder in the company, and they don't like the price. And they've been arguing with the CEO of uh, T, uh, Telecom Italia for some time. They don't like Kohlberg's price, and so there's going to be some, some heated um, uh, uh, competition here is really what we're going to see. And the point here is that this is going to be an excellent time to buy in. Um, these buyouts usually represent a price jump on, on, the, uh, on the side of the target company. Often, and, and so this is going to be a good opportunity to buy in if you believe this is going to happen, as we do. So Telecom Italia, focus of a, a private equity bid by uh, KKR, one of the world's largest. These guys rarely make mistakes. They're uh, very on top of things, and they know a value when they move in uh, for the, uh, to circle for the kill. So uh, that'll do it for now, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Seth Julian, wishing you all, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to trade with confidence. Bye-bye for now.